Hey everybody, this is Mike from TechSource. And what you're looking at here is a file I received from a fellow screen printer on Instagram. He wanted my advice on separating and printing this on his automatic. And you can see it is clean vector. And if we back out here, it looks like there, there's a copy down here too with registration marks. The first thing I like to look at is the color mode. And I'm going to go ahead and set that to CMYK. Now, the other thing that I like to do is we've got two different images here. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab this one and create another layer and drag that up. And I'll just hide that. I'll probably come back and get the registration marks later. And then let's see what we got going on here. We have one big group here. I'm going to center this on the artboard. This will be important later as you will see my trick. And this doesn't matter that much here. In fact, I'll probably end up getting rid of that red. But we want that centered on the artboard. Now let's go ahead and kind of dissect this file a little bit. And the first thing I'm going to do, direct selection tools, select this white and select the same fill color. Let's bring that up on another layer. And now if I hide that, okay, you see we've got all this navy under the white there. So we want to make sure we get rid of that. But first, let's get all of this navy together. So I'm going to select the same fill color. So we've got two different navies going on here. That's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and create that layer for the navy and drag it up and hide. And now we're going to grab this, grab this with the direct selection tool. Select the same fill. We're going to drag that up to that navy layer as well. Now, since this is a stroke creating the thickness of this navy here, I'm just going to select everything and outline that stroke. Okay. And now that we have this, let's go ahead and color it into a spot navy. So we've got it right here. And I'm just going to create that spot navy now. And I'm going to call it spot navy. Make sure it's defined as a spot color. And I can leave it navy just like that. Now everything should be colored in that same navy color. And it is. Now you'll notice on the white here, we can't see it. So we actually want to go ahead and create a new spot white, which we'll do right now. And we'll call it spot white. Define it as a spot color. And just to visually see it, we're going to add a little cyan just to the visual and hit OK. Now all we have left is this right here, all this transparency going on. But because I know that we do not need that navy under that white there, let's go ahead and take care of that. So I'm going to select all this text here. And I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to do a paste in front, Command or Alt F, target the navy layer. Let's go ahead and just make that white. Now the navy's still in there, but it'll work with that white sitting on top. Now let's address this halftone situation. I'm going to go ahead and delete this red here. And since we're going to make this in the white half tones, first we need to make them black so that we can go to Photoshop and make those into half tones. 
So I'm just going to select everything and I'm going to color it black. You see it kept the attributes from the file. And now here's the trick that I'm going to show you. Remember when we centered everything up into the artboard here? Well, now if I make a box and color it white, I'm going to send that box to the back. Now I'm going to align this box horizontally and vertically. Now if I select everything here and copy, we're going to switch over to Photoshop and hit New Document. We need to switch this to inches, the resolution to 300, and we'll leave it CMYK. Hit OK, paste, hit return, return. You're going to notice that in the channels here, the only channel is this black. And so we want to split channels, but to do that, we need to go ahead and flatten this image. And now we can split channels. You see like the yellow, magenta, cyan, nothing. This is the one we're concerned with. Now let's go ahead and make the halftones. Now, if you know anything about screen printing, Half tones will gain color. So we want to take a little bit of that color out. If we got your info palette out, you can measure. We have a 65, we have a 30, and we have a 50 here. So let's take some color out for the dot gain. So we're just going to go ahead and bring up the curves menu. And I'm going to click right here which is that 65. We're going to go ahead and drop that back to 50. Now what that did was automatically drop the others. So now we have a 50, a 35, and an 18. I'm good with that as far as when this prints and gains back up, it'll give me a good strength of white with the dot gain. Now we're going to switch to bitmap mode. Keep it as 300 on the output, half tone screen. And then as far as the LPI, the frequency, which is the size of the dot, I'm going to stay with 40. That's a common dot that I print all the time. The angle is good here at 22 and a half. And you can choose between ellipse, round. You could do a line tone if you wanted, but we'll stick to ellipse. And when we hit OK, there's our halftones that we're going to burn into the screen and print. Select all, copy. Now we're going to switch back to Illustrator. We can actually delete this now. And we're just going to paste but we're going to use that align menu. Remember how the white box behind was aligned? Now it's carrying the halftones with it. So those are the halftones we're going to print. However, you notice that the navy, you don't want the halftones printing underneath the navy. Well, that's a simple fix. Just like we put the white on top here, we can grab a copy of this and do the same thing. We're just going to copy this, go down to our half tones, target the half tone, and we're going to paste this in front and we're going to color it white. So there you go. That will be that separation that we need to print as a half tone white. Now, also, this place bitmap image here. We want to color this for the inkjet printer to print out our SEPs with this registration color. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Registration black, that'll print all the channels on our inkjet printer and give us nice solid dots. And remember this initial logo here? I'm going to ungroup. I really just need these registration marks. And look, they're actually colored in registration marks. So that's good. 
So I'm just going to group those together. And now I'll ditch the rest of this. Let's go ahead and look at the other channels real quick. We've got the Mustangs here with the text. So I'm going to select the same fill color there. And we're going to color that in registration black. So that prints a nice separation. And then our white here, we're just going to select all of this and go with registration black. View all of these at the same time. This will let us just drag this up. And now we have this registration layer and one at a time, we'll print our spot white, we'll print our navy film, and we'll print our halftone white film. And the reason why we're doing this is because on press, this halftone white is going to be a much higher mesh, maybe a 205, maybe a 230. Um, you could probably get away with a 180 mesh on that. Whereas this white here, you're going to want to print in the 125, 140 range. And then for the Navy, uh, 180. That's probably what I'm going to print with that. So right now, this file is ready to go as far as printing out on an inkjet printer, no postscript, halftone dots are in there. This job is good to go. Now, the last thing is this print order. How are you going to print this? And that's really up to the printer. You've got two flashes. You might print this navy and then go ahead and the next screen, print this half tone white, then flash, and then print the solid white, flash, and then print the solid white again and pull it off since you have two flashes. If you wanted to, you could print this first where you have half tone in a higher mesh screen with the white. Maybe that's the 180 you go with. So you print these two together on a 180, flash, and then you print a second white on top like this, and then flash again and then end up with your navy last. There's lots of orders that you can go in and lots of ways you can print this. It all depends on how you want to do it. But those are the different options I see that are readily available with this job.